How to Conference Call on Skype How to conference call on Skype is an easy process to learn. Skype is a common and convenient means of communication, using only a computer and an internet connection. It has quickly become the communication method of choice, especially for long-distance calls because of the money users save. Skype allows several means of talking with another person online. It can be used for text chat, audio conversation, and video calling. However, calls to landlines and cell phones require a paid subscription to Skype or the addition of money to your Skype balance. Computer-to-computer -computer communication is free, including conference calls, and the quality of the call depends on how good the internet connection is. Conference call is the feature that enables you to call more than one person at a time via audio or video. It is a very convenient and cheap way to communicate with others online. There may be some lag if the internet connection is not good, but the cheap cost of the call, you don't pay Skype, you only pay for your internet usage, more than makes up for whatever signal static, interference, or other problems you may have. Here we list the steps you need in order to make a conference call on Skype. 1. Create a Skype account if you don't already have one. Go to Skype.com and register for free. Download the Skype software and install it on your computer when done. 2. Open the software on your computer. You can configure it to sign in automatically when the computer starts, so you don't have to manually log in every time. When asked, key in the username and password you use to register. 3. Add your Skype friends. The software will ask if you want to add your contacts. Allow it to do so if you wish. It will automatically add your contacts who have Skype accounts. If the people you want to Skype with are not in your contact list, or are not in your Skype contacts, you can search for them by name, or you can ask them directly for their Skype username. Then you can invite them by sending them a message. Once they accept, you can add them to your contacts and be able to chat or call them. 4. Make a conference call. Not all contacts on your list may be available to text chat or talk anytime. You will know if they are available when a solid green button shows up to the left of their name on the contacts list in the Skype sidebar. If the button is white with a green outline, that means they're offline. You won't be able to communicate with them until they're online. A solid yellow button means they're busy. You can text chat or call them, but there's no guarantee they can or will respond right away. You have no way of knowing if they're working on something else on their computer or away from their desk. So, to make a conference call, look at the contacts list on the left sidebar. Below that, there's an icon that looks like a paw. It's supposed to be a group of people. When you point your cursor on it, a pop-out says, Create a group. Click on the icon. The right side of the screen will change, and an arrow shows where to drag contact names. Drag. Point to the name, click, and move the mouse without releasing the button. The contact names of the people you want to make a conference call with over to the box on the right side. 5. Chat or talk to your group. Provided everyone is online, sometimes a person will show up as online but they're away or failed to log out, you can now text chat or audio and video call to your heart's content. If you need to make a conference call, now you should be able to by following these instructions on how to conference call on Skype.